Hi everyone, this is Sharon. Today I've been having some fun working away making some ephemera with some of the latest kits that came out from Raindrop Lila. And I've got a bunch of tags and some journal cards made and I thought I would just turn on the camera for the last couple and we can do a short little craft with me. So there are two kinds that I'll be making with you today. Um, the first are these smaller little journal card booklet type things and then the other one is a larger tag like these and we'll do this one first so for these three that i put together i took these beautiful tulip images from her it's called Sp spring blooms aesthetic photos and i absolutely love these they're kind of like polaroid type pictures and I layered those up on these tags with um, a piece of embossed paper underneath just to kind of act as sort of a window box effect. And then the flowers are coming out of that. And then I just layered it up again with some other items like some labels. And then the background, I've got these wallpaper images from her William Morris Vintage Wallpaper Kit. I think they really work nicely with the tulips. On the backs, I used some very faint images from the French and Antique Documents kit. She's got some like front and back images in that kit, and I use the back images, and they're very faint, so they're really nice for using on the back of tags so you can still write over the top. And then I used some of the extra offcuts from the front, and on this one, I just punched a little border at the bottom. And these two, I made a couple of little shallow pockets. So for the one that we make today, I will probably put a pocket on the back like these. Um, at the top for the ties, this one I just used some twine. And then this one, some sari silk ribbon. And then on this one, I used some lace. So I am going to set these aside. I tried to be a little bit prepared and pre-cut the things that I thought I would need for today. Um, so I've got this really pretty yellow and gray wallpaper image for my front background. I've got a piece of cardstock cut to the size I want. These tags are about three by six. And then it's not real heavy, it's pretty lightweight. And then I've got this, um, from the French Documents kit for my back. As you can see, there's just a very faint invoice image on there. And then here's my tulip image and my embossed paper for underneath. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cover my cardstock front and back with these images. So I'm gonna just glue my piece of cardstock and then put that I'm going to try to put it in the corner so I only have to cut two sides sometimes that works and sometimes I don't really get it lined up very well but we'll give it a try Okay, and now I have to see, is there a top or bottom to this? I'm going to say that this is the top. Okay, so I'm going to just cut around my tag. And I'm going to save this extra piece for my pocket later. Okay, I'm still not really sure about the top. I'm gonna make that the top. Okay, so flip that over, and then I'm going to glue the back and attach my back piece. I like to just glue on old book pages. This is an old Reader's Digest book, and the page size is usually pretty good. Get that covered all the way around. I like to use a glue stick for this type of thing just to get a good full coverage. And let's see, where do we wanna go? This side or this side? I think over here, so I'm gonna 
Just glue that, kind of line it up with the corner. How I did on this side. Well, that looks pretty good. Okay. Get that on there good, and then I will cut around here again. Okay, so now this will be the back of my tag, and this will be the front. Now, my tulip image, I think I'm going to set somewhere in there. And I think first off, I should get this on. So I'm going to, for gluing this on, since it is a little bumpy and embossed, I'm going to use some art glitter glue on that to try to just hit all those edges. It'll stick a little better. Then a glue stick, and then get that on my image, kind of centered. I'm going to move it right up to the image so it looks like that flower box effect. Okay, that's pretty good. And I'm just going to cut the excess off on each side. And now my piece is ready to glue down. I've got a label, too. I picked this one I thought would look nice on there. So I'm going to get my glue stick and glue the back of that image. Try to get it centered as much as possible. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, and then let's see, this I don't need. Now I will add my use a smaller glue. I like to use my smaller glue stick for little labels. Okay, this I think will stick right up in here. I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to take one of the other tags I made and use that as my template for cutting my corners. And then let's make our pocket for the back. So I can get the width that I need and cut that. And then I think I want it a little bit shallower. I'm going to take maybe a quarter to three eighths of an inch off. There, I think that's going to look nice. And I also think I am going to reinforce it with a little bit of like a thicker book page. So let me just find one. I save my old book pages that are nice and thick as kind of a reinforcement layer for some of my tags and things. So I'm just going to glue the back of that piece. And just give a little reinforcement. And I'll cut that out. Okay. 
today. And then I'm going to get my little tab punch. I like to notch the tops of my pockets a lot of the time just to make it easier to get things in and out. And punch that. It's a little wet yet, so I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now I think that'll look good on there. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue to just run a very small bead of glue along there. Each side. And then along the bottom. Okay. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit off the edge, so I'm just going to trim that up a little bit. Okay, so that's my front. That's my back. I actually hadn't thought before I turned the camera on what I would do for the top. Um, but let me see if I have got something in my little scrap box that we could use. Some fabric or lace or something. Oh, here. A little velvet ribbon in a cream color. I think that would be pretty. So let's just clean that up a little bit. I think that'll work. I think I'll just use a little bit of art glitter glue on that. It's kind of fun when you've got, this has probably been sitting in my little snippet box for at least a year. <laughs> now I get to use it up. Okay, there's my ribbon. I think that looks good. It's a very creamy, yellowy kind of a tag. Very spring-like. So that is that one. I'll clean some of this stuff up and we can move on to our little bunny tag. Okay, so here's a sample that I did earlier. And I also brought in a bunch of things that I think I can use for my last one that I'm making. So this is just, I used an old antique book page and I backed it. This one I backed with some coffee dyed paper that was kind of a scrap piece and I don't have any more. So I am going to, for the one that we're making, use a piece of parchment paper and I've already attached it to this old book page. So you can see I've got that glued to the back. And then on the inside, I've got this little tab in here that you could use for a little tuck spot. So um, that would work quite nice for a little place to tuck things. And then there's a lot of writing room on the inside. I added this fun little string just for some interest. I've got a little um, piece of fabric and I've got one more little piece here that I can use for our last one. And then these bunny images, which are so adorable. This one I did a little stamping across the bottom. I'm gonna do something a little bit different with the one that we're making. And then on the back, I just added a little label to kind of add some interest there. So let us, I'll just show you quickly the other one I made too. This one, I just ran some lace across the front. And again, it's got a little tab. This is um, just the top of a, like a tag punch that I have. It's actually upside down. This would be the top of the tag. But I like to use it um, to make these decorative tabs. And then I also emboss these, so that adds a little bit of interest too. And then I just add a little piece of paper ribbon to the back of this one. Okay, so I've got my book page covered. 
I'm going to fold that in half, and this will be my journal card. And then that will be the inside. Um, for the front, I thought, I got this cute little weight bunny. And I just found on my work surface um, a little piece of ruffled tissue paper that I had cut off of something else. And I thought that would be really cute just to put along the bottom of my bunny image. So I'm going to glue those two together. I think I'll use some art glitter glue. Just run it across the top of my little ruffle. I'm making a couple of spring slash Easter bunny journals right now, and I've incorporated both the tulips and these bunny images in, into those as tuck spots and journal cards and tags and things. They're so cute. I love using them. Okay. Now, I'm today I'm using these sepia ones. There's also colored ones, too, um, in that same kit. And I'll link all the kits that I've used here in the description below. Okay, I think that looks good, and I'm just going to glue my bunny on there. I'm going to also add this piece of fabric like I did with the other one up here. So I think I want this right about there. I always like to line them, eyeball them first before I put my glue down. So I think I'm just gonna use art glitter glue since this is a little bumpy. Right about there, I think. And then I think for this fabric piece, I like to stitch things on. So I'm just going to go to my sewing machine for a second and stitch that across the top. Okay, that wasn't too far away. <laughs> so I'm gonna snip off my threads. That's cute. And then the inside. Okay, so the front is done. These projects for today are really simple and easy. I don't like to do things too complicated. I just like to do a little bit of layering um, and go from there. So on the inside, I've pre-cut one of these little tab things. So I'm going to be putting that up there. And I've got a little piece of string here left over too. I'll just thread through the hole. That can hang down. I'll maybe cut that off a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to use art glitter glue on this piece to attach it. So we've got a place to tuck things and lots of writing room on the inside and then on the back I just thought I would add this little postage stamp it's a vintage French stamp just like how pretty that flower is on there so I'm just gonna take my glue stick to glue that on And just put that right about there. Okay, simple as that. A simple little journaling card with this cute bunny on the front. So I am going to bring back all the ones that I made. So you can kind of get a picture. This is my latest design team project for Raindrop Lila. So I'm going to... Um, put some pictures on Instagram as well. I also made a couple other ones. One, I didn't do these on camera, but I'll show you these. This is um, a rather large tag as well. 
the backing is a piece of old antique book page. And what I did was take the bunny image and layer it with some dotted tulle. It's a very pale aqua. Added a button on there. And then I just glued it across the top so it makes a nice little tuck spot in there. And then I also added some washi tape. On this one, I put a nice big fluffy bow on the top. And then on the back side, I just added a couple pieces of antique ledger paper. I didn't want to glue over the top of the book page. It's too pretty. So I just have these two that flip up for some writing room. And then I put some washi tape across the top. And then this is the other one. I've got this little embossed piece on the top of that one. And then the back is the same. So I hope that got some creative juices flowing today and uh, hopefully gave you a few ideas on what you can do with the cute little bunnies and tulips. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, bye-bye.